Hi everyone, Josh Patty here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm here with my guest today, Ari Star. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be branding myself. So hey guys, what's up? The Mata Kun here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It just seems weird. I'll get it. I'll get it. So tonight we watched American Horror Story. Uh, it was the premiere night, and I guess everyone's watching it now. So if I get this up tonight, it'll be amazing. It kind of hits close to home, living with someone who has anxiety. I kept calling her Anxiety Tisha. Um, but yeah, so Chanel number two shows up, and she was like my favorite Chanel with the earmuffs. I think it's Chanel number two. But she was like my favorite one because she had earmuffs and she was Jeffrey Dahmer's daughter or whatever. But she shows up. Um, the opening scene, it was really real because it was the election. And during the election, Aaron was out of town, I think. And I remember filming my reaction to it. And I had one camera on the TV, one camera on me. And I just, it was too much for me to do. So I just kind of like let it go. Um, and I deleted all the footage, so it was like super scary for me. There was that clown guy from the last one. I didn't really get into it. The circus, I think it was. Aaron, did you even see it? I haven't watched this show since Lady Gaga was on. Whatever. So, I mean, I was hoping that we would have got like, cause every, it seems like every opening there's like a nasty scene. Like Michael Myers or Freddy or Jason, like there's always like people like doing it and then it starts up the whole process of like the scary shit. So I saw that and I was hoping for a little more than that. Have you ever noticed like in horror movies they're like, get back or I'm gonna shoot you. And they don't fucking shoot him in the head, they're like, pow, pow, pow. And I'm like, get him in the head, get him in the head. I don't like that clown's mouth, it was gross. Oh yeah, cause he got a shot off or something. Wrong number, spoiler alert. Why are they trying to scare me so damn much? Like, that was not cute. It's because people are s afraid of clowns for some reason. What is that called? Aaron knew all the phobias because he has a lot of them. The phobias that they portrayed in this show are to, like the, uh, very extreme. Like, if you're really hallucinating, you'd have to have like PTSD and like... It was we don't know what extreme. happened to her. We don't know what happened to Lana Del Rey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so speaking of Lana Del Rey, um, there was a gay couple and that was like super cool and it's like, oh wow. I feel like this show's playing on a lot of stereotypes. Like, but the lesbian couple was voting for Hillary and then the creepy guy with Cheetos on his face is voting for Trump. Like, it's just... Upstairs. That I was just laughing at because you know how you I've seen beauty vloggers and they're like contouring with Doritos Doritos I've seen videos and I'm like girl. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Like what's going on with the blender? And then he's like And I was like I knew it I clocked it I called it and I don't get that little boy's allure I have a note here boy allure. I get it He has like this creepy don't care attitude and he's kind of like I don't know. He's like, he's made for that role. Like he plays the creepy, crazy guy pretty well. He's always played that role in all these seasons. No, he's always like, well, okay, yeah. I just, I don't care for him. Um, I just don't care for and him. And then this anxiety thing, like, because I do live with someone who has many phobias and anxiety for real, like I'm kind of like, I wanna be like making fun of her, like no one's chasing you in the store. But then I'm asking Aaron, do you ever have like, those kind of issues in your life where you just start imagining shit's happening, like have a mental breakdown. And because sometimes I feel like he does, like at the airport, he was just crying. And I'm like, we're barely, we're not even on the plane. And like, that's hard for me because I don't have that phobia. So I have to be understanding of that phobia. But at the same time, I'm like, we need to get on this plane. So it's like, it's weird for me. Did you, what was your take on it as someone who has severe anxiety? I have never had hallucinations or imagine things happening like that. I don't know. I feel like her anxiety is different than what I have. Okay. From the horse's mouth. The horse's? And then towards the middle of it, I kind of just zoned out because it got kind of boring. I feel like this show, Controversial Opinion, kind of has run its course. I feel like it's just kind of boring now. 
And I feel like now it's just grabbing ideas from other things. Like when they did the sneak peek to It during the commercials, I'm like, that's kind of shady because I feel like this is taking a lot of ideas from It. You have the clown that's going after the children. And only certain people can see it doing creepy things. Going after someone trying to kill them. And everyone's like, oh, there's a clown trying to kill me. And they're like, you're just crazy. Like that's the premise of It. Then they're like mixing things with the purge. Like people going around with masks, killing people. Like, it's just like they're just snatching ideas now, trying to stay in with what's hip. But I feel like it's just yeah. played its course. And that's one thing that I was kind of curious on what they were gonna do because I feel like they have run out of ideas. I think the last one I fully watched all the way through was Coven. Um, I did watch the Hotel one just because Lady Gaga was in it and that hot guy Matt Bomer. Hotel is okay for like the first three episodes and it just went down. It, yeah, it's like, and I feel like he did that in this first episode. He already ran out of steam. Cause they all run out of steam towards like the middle. But the first episode, dude, the first one you're gonna run out of steam already. What's left? They've had everything in this episode. They threw everything in this episode. Like clowns, elections. Mental health issues. Someone having sex in a forest. Right? Like what's left? Supremacy weird people that live in basements. Cheetos and a blender on your face. But Where I else can you that. get your horror movie, your election news, and beauty tips in the same video? Cheetos has that grease built in. Moisturize. Oh my god. I didn't get it. It was okay. It scared me, but I'm I'm not good with jump scares. I give it a boot. Like yeah. it was okay for the first few minutes and I just got like okay. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna give it a boot, but I will probably watch a few more episodes just to see if they can save it because I think right now it's on a trajectory downward because they threw too much into the first episode. There's nothing, like, there's no suspense left. They ended this episode at a point where you're just like, okay, I don't really care what happens next because... Yeah, kind of like a movie preview when they put all of the action yeah. in the movie and then you get there and you're like, waiting and waiting and then you're like, oh, I saw that in the preview. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw that too. I'm gonna... Boot. Wait, I take that back, because Colton showed up in like the last five minutes with his bright his hair, hair, and I'm like, okay, maybe I want to see more of that. Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bla my basement. I can't even oh, talk. Oh, wow. <laughs> my basement flooded and went to my attic. Um, I liked his toe head. Do you guys know that gay term, toe head, is when someone's like bleach blonde? And they're all detective, detective, and he's like doing that broody little, oh, I can't talk like that. Like, all right, Colton. He was in Scream Queens with Chanel number two. Brad! Boot, they better hope the gays can save this show. Come on, Colton, it's up to you. Oh. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching. Did you have something? Nope. Boot! 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 All right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway uh, pretty soon within the next month. Um, it's not gonna be anything crazy, but I just hit over a hundred subscribers and I'm super proud super happy Because I've actually been putting on a lot more work to my videos Shout out to Joshua daily because he's been helping me out with a lot of stuff too And I've changed a bunch of stuff, so I just want to get give you guys a thank you So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm probably gonna be doing like candy or something Probably something New Mexican just in case you guys are watching from afar um, Yeah, so don't forget Green to chili. And turquoise. Maybe turquoise green chili, maybe. So don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna do a subscribe and then comment on this video if you want. I'll set it all up later because I have to figure out how to do it. But thanks again, guys, so much for being a sub and for watching. I guess that's it. Bye, guys.